Welcome to SIR Learning Center. In this video, I am going to simulate halfway rectifier circuit by using Tinkercad online simulator. What is mean by rectifier? The rectifier is used to convert AC signal into DC signal. Where it is used, the simple example is our mobile phone charger. The input of the mobile phone charger is AC signal. It is from the substation. The voltage becomes 230 volt, 50 hertz AC supply. This signal can be, that is, this voltage can be converted into DC. That means 5 volt or 9 volt by using this rectifier circuit. This rectifier can be classified into different types. One is a halfway rectifier, fullway rectifier, and bridge rectifier. In halfway rectifier, only one diode can be used. In fullway rectifier, that is two diode can be used. In a bridge rectifier, four diode can be used. Now I am going to simulate only the halfway rectifier in this video. Okay, now I am going to create a new circuit. In this new circuit, we are choosing the different components. The essential components of the halfway rectifier is the first one is the transformer. The first one is the transformer. What is the use of the transformer? The 230 volt to be converted into 9 volt. That means we are using the step down transformer to down the voltage from 230 volt to 9 volt or 5 volt by using the step down transformer. The output of the step down transformer is 9 volt 50 hertz here I am using okay in a finger cut online simulator the transformer is not available that's why I am going to generate this 9 volt and 50 hertz signal by using the function generator by, by using the function generator that's why first I am going to select the function generator okay this is the function generator I am placing here in this function generator the amplitude value becomes 9 volt the frequency value becomes 50 because of the output of the transformer is 9 volt 50 gets the DC offset voltage value becomes 0 okay we are going to generate the which signal here we are, we are choosing the sine wave signal because the output of the transformer is the sine wave signal what is the next component here we are using another one is breadboard Okay, here we are choosing the breadboard because of very simple circuit. I am using the small breadboard here. Okay, this is the small breadboard. What is the next component we are using? One is the only one diode because in a halfway rectifier we are using only one diode. Okay, here I am placing this diode here and just rotating this diode in horizontal position by using this button. By using this button, I am just rotating the diode. After horizontal position, I am placing this diode uh, here. Okay, what is next? The next component is resistor. Okay, next component is the resistor. Okay, the resistor value becomes here. This is the one kilo ohm resistor. I am here. I am using. Okay, now the output. How I am going to show our output? By using this oscilloscope, by using this oscilloscope, we are going to see our output. By we are going to see our output now. Okay, here this is the positive supply. This positive supply become connected from here to uh, here, and negative supply. This is negative supply. So I am going to connect from here to. here okay change the color of this negative supply this is black color okay next the input of the diode is this is the which terminal this is the anode terminal that is a two terminal in this diode one is anode another one is cathode the cathode terminal is nearest to this white bar okay this anode terminal is the input we are going to apply the input from the source that is the a function generated 9 volt 50 hertz signal 9 volt 50 hertz signal to be applied to the anode terminal where I am going to take the output before going to take the output 
the capacitor that is a resistor 1 and 2 be connected from the ground one terminal is connected to the ground that is negative supply voltage where i am going to take the output across the resistor we are going to take the output here the resistor is used act as the load here the resistor is used to act as the load okay so i am going to change small corrections here okay this is the supply voltage okay next i am first we are going to check the input voltage okay this negative to be connected from here to here and here changing the color this is the ground okay next we are going to take the positive supply voltage where i am going to take the positive supply this is the positive supply voltage that it means sine wave signal can be generated here okay this is the input voltage okay next the value become 0.01 millisecond okay now i am going to simulate i am selecting the particular correct volt okay 10 millisecond we are choosing here by using the 10 millisecond we are getting this uh, input waveform the input waveform is the 9 volt 50 hertz signal has time duration is look at here the time duration is 20 millisecond 1 divided by 20 millisecond this 50 hertz signal can be generated by using this function generator the time where the peak to peak voltage value becomes 9 volt 9 volt now i am going to take the output across the resistor okay here this is the across the resistor i am going to connect the our positive terminal now i am going to simulate here we are only getting the positive half cycle of the input waveform how we are going to get the positive half cycle of the input waveform here this is the diode this diode is only allowing the positive half cycle because it only conduction can be done in a forward bias in a reverse bias it is in off condition only the forward bias the diode can conduct otherwise is not conduct because this input signal is there is two part one is a positive part another one is negative part the positive part only allowing by using this diode the negative part can be eliminated by using this diode that's why we are only getting the positive half cycle of the input signal positive half cycle of the input signal this is the half way rectifier circuit okay here we are not getting the dc signal here not getting the dc signal how we are going to get the dc signal here next we are going to introduce one more component here one more component we are going to introduce the component name is the capacitor this capacitor is act as a filter and it can perform charging and discharging look at here in this diagram we are going to after introducing of the after introducing of the capacitor in the diagram we are going to perform like that this charging and discharging charging and discharging charging and discharging can be performed okay like that we are going to generate the pulsating dc signal across the capacitor now i am going to select the capacitor this is the capacitor i am placing the capacitor from here this one terminal is to be connected to the resistor and cathode terminal of the anode the other terminal to be connected to ground another terminal is connected to the ground okay so the color becomes black because of the ground indicating the color. next here i am going to take the output now here i am going to take the output across the capacitor across the capacitor capacitor one terminal is to be connected in this cathode terminal other terminal is ground that's why one terminal is connected that is cathode terminal is again connected to the positive terminal of the oscillator scope okay now i am going to simulate okay after simulation what is going to happen okay before simulating the circuit i am going to change the capacitor value into 100 microfarad 100 microfarad capacitor then i am going to simulate the circuit what is going to happen 
here we are going to perform the charging and discharging because here this is the charging and discharging this output can be getting across the capacitor across the capacitor this is the pulsating dc signal this is the pulsating dc signal In this pulsating dc signal we are going to measure the efficiency how we are going to measure the efficiency by using the dc output power divided by ac input power the efficiency of the half way rectifier is the efficiency of the half way rectifier is 40.6 percentage 40.6 percentage okay the distance from this to this okay this is called as the ripple factor this is called as the ripple factor here is nearly is equal ripple factor of this half a rectifier is 1.21 half a rectifier ripple factor is equal to 1.21 is actually calculated from this theoretical calculation but in practical manner some variation is there some variation is there okay this is the half way rectifier circuit is generating the pulsating dc signal pulsating dc signal the dc voltage is, is equal to uh, the dc voltage is equal to the formula is vm divided by pi the vm value is if you are applying the 9 volt means vm value is 4.5 divided by pi okay divided by pi that value is equal to 1.43 the value is equal to 1.43 dc signal can be generated by using this circuit by using this circuit this is the half way rectifier the clear explanation and for all formulas are available in this presentation this presentation link is available in description you can go through this, my blog and take the presentation for your reference okay thank you thank you for listening this video thank you